Morning, folks. Morning, 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 guys. Morning, guys. So I just want to have my thoughts on Jane Elliott and her video that she did that's literally going viral on Facebook right now where <clears throat> she was in a classroom. Well, I guess it was her students. And she said, all white Americans stand up right now. Well, all white citizens stand up right now if you want to be treated the way black people are treated in America. Now, it was, it was, it was interesting that no one... You know, it was interesting that no one actually stood up, right? And most people were white. Uh, you know, but, you know, here's the thing, right? Here, 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 here's the thing. Just like in the Bible, when they, uh, I think it was, they killed off in Moses' time, where they killed off the pharaohs because there were too much of them. It's the same thing. And it's the same thing like the ch cops... Uh, the reason that the police force was put together was to, you know, literally, uh, you know, uh, put the slaves in jail or, uh, you know, to make sure the slaves wasn't going anywhere. Right. So that's the same thing now, you know, all these killings and things of that nature. But guys, this shit been going on forever. Right. So this is just my thoughts on it, guys. And it's just a sad thing that in 2016, that you know we still are up against things we were that our ancestors fought for that people died for and you know we're still up against you know these type of things and you know as 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 a as a minority you know we have to just do our part guys you know we just got to be a force for good we got to treat everybody uh you know right we got to treat everybody you know with respect and that's what it's really going to boil down to guys you know nothing is like a rocket science nothing is like a pill with lotions and potions, you know, nothing is, is, is going to be easy, right? It's just not going to be easy, but I can tell you this guys, if we truly don't come together, start loving one another, start putting out the good energy guys, then this is just going to continue to happen. Okay. It's going to happen to, uh, to continue to happen to us, our children, our children, children, our great grandkids. And this is what, you know, Martin Luther King fought for, you know, Malcolm X and, you know, the slaves and, you know, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, they fought for all of this stuff. And it was like in vain because we're still going through this cycle. And another sad thing is that, you know, most black people, guys, right? They don't have open minds, right? They only focused on the new Jordans. They only focused on the new liquor that's coming out. They only focus on the new songs and the new cars that's coming out. Right? They're not really focused on a future as a whole. They're not focused on the future to help themselves, you know, get to the next level. They only focus on the Jordans and the new liquor that comes out. So it's a whole mentality, guys, as a black community. You know, we got to change our mentality. Why is there not more, uh, you know, black stores and black banks and black, uh, uh, you know, nail salons and hair salons? Why is there not, right? Because truthfully... I did a video on why black people are not taught to be entrepreneurs by Dennis Kimbrough. It's simple, right? Our parents didn't teach us this stuff, so we don't know nothing more than what our parents taught us. Their parents didn't know nothing. So we, we, it's like a generational curse that's passed down for years and years and years and years to come. So who breaks the cycle? And this is why, guys, I talk about working full-time on your job, but working part-time on your fortune, okay? Because now when you work part-time on your fortune, now you're breaking the cycle of this mundane, of the poverty, of the lack-minded, of the foolishness, you know, mindedness, uh, you know, that, you know, we have. So, so you know, I think, you know, Jane, you know, she, she, she pretty much, you know, brought some light, uh, you know, to something. I think her name is Jane Elliott. And she brought some, 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 some light, you know, to some of the things where, you know, people clearly know what's going on, but who was really doing something about it? We can march all day. We can do riots. We can kill more police, but the, the police force is growing. Okay. Guys, the police force continues to grow every month or every year. So how do now you get rid of that? You know, I mean, how you can't, right? Cause the police force was designed to actually detain the slaves anyway. So that's what they're doing now. They're just tainting modern day slaves. And it's a sad, sad thing, guys. So we just really, you know, got to put the good energy out. We got to be a force for good. 
we got to defy the odds. We got to do, uh, you know, better things. Now, the black men have it worse than the black women because they're more picked on and, you know, the cops, uh, you know, uh, you know, watch them more and, you know, more of them go to jail. But black women got it bad, too, because of their mentality, right? If we're following black men and their mentality is only on looking sneakers, that's where our mentality is going to be as well. So this is why I talk about, guys, having you a fortune that you can work on, that you can hand down to your children so you can break this poverty cycle so that your family can grow and not continue to die, so that your family can live in abundance and not live in lack. These are just simple, simple, simple things, guys, that we can just follow simple principles. You know, we got to do our part by being a force for good and defying the odds and then not letting anything stop us. Okay, now everybody, you know, posting pictures and everybody's posting new the videos and all this shit is going viral, but people are just talking. Who's going to do something about it, right? I'm doing something about it. I'm going to be a force for good. I'm going to defy the odds. I'm going to set new standards, all right? I'm going to set new trends, okay? Are you going to do that, right? What are you going to do? Are you just going to continue to talk and share videos on social media? It's, your, it's our duty, guys, to change the world. Not the world's duty to change us. It's our duty to change the world. But when we don't do anything, we become a part of the society statistics. And then the cycle continues to go on and on and on and on. Thanks for watching, guys. So that's just my, uh, you know, opinion uh, of the Jane Elliott video that's going viral right now on Facebook, guys. See you soon.